iPhone 10 versus Samsung Galaxy Note 9 speed test. The video is coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and welcome to the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 versus the iPhone 10 speed test. Now this is an important speed test because we're gonna see if Samsung's newer phone can be Apple's last year phone because Apple's coming with a newer device as well which will more directly compete with the Note 9. Let's go ahead and begin with a boot up test in three, two, one. And you can see you have to hold the Note 9 a little longer whereas you just have to click the iPhone 10. You can see Samsung Galaxy Note 9 on the right, and this is the Snapdragon 845 version, 8 gig of RAM and 512 GB of storage. On the left, A11, 3 gigs of RAM, 256 gig storage here. So both on their maxed out versions. And the iPhone 10 with the boot up win. So not really surprising there. A lot of times the iPhone boots up faster, but the Samsung is in rather quickly as well. Okay, so let's check out their facial unlocking or face ID here. First for the iPhone 10. And you could see it kind of recognizes you and then you swipe up or you can just kind of swipe up from the bottom and then face id will try to find you and boom you go right into the device let's check out the note 9 now okay so let's take a look at the note 9 now and you could see it goes right in so you don't have to do any swiping this is intelligent scan it'll just recognize your face and it'll go into the device and there you go. So I would say when the Note 9 does recognize the device, it is faster to unlock from the face than Face ID, but I find Face ID to be a little bit more useful with authenticating apps and such. All right, guys, so we have arrived at the application portion of this speed test. iPhone 10 on the left, Note 9 on the right. You can go ahead and see that everything is closed out here now for the Note 9. Everything is closed out here for the iPhone 10. Let me put the S Pen back in its little slot right there and let's get in with this speed test so we're going to begin with calendar in three two one and you can see that's the note nine for the win coming home about the same let's go into clock and you can see that's the note nine coming home let's go into phone and that slightly looked to the note nine again animations seem quicker here for the note nine i do have one x animation on here default settings let's go into calculator you can see the Note 9 sprints ahead again. Coming home, let's go into Instagram. You can see Instagram is first on the right one more time. Let's go ahead and click over here to my page. iPhone 10 loads that page quicker. And let's go ahead and show you the differences in scroll speeds. And there you go. Let's go into Twitter. And Twitter seems to be loading first on the right for the Note 9. And you can see there goes the iPhone 10. Let's go into Snapchat, three, two, one. And you can see Snapchat on the right. Let's go into WhatsApp. And that's the right again. So the Note 9 blistering performance. Let's go into YouTube. And you can see YouTube again for the Note 9. Let's go into trending. And trending tab first on the left, scrolling about the same. So both these devices are performing very well. Let's go into Prime Video. And you can see Prime Video first for the Note 9. Let's go ahead and open up. This little Gran Torino right here, and you could see about the same, just a little bit different in animation. Let's go into Amazon. You can see that's the Note 9 again, and let's click this little link, Note 9 again. So I mean, Note 9 looking very fast here, at least on this initial first round. Let's go into, let me close that out. We're gonna go into eBay in a minute here. Let's go into eBay, three, two, one, and you could see that's first for Note 9, maybe iPhone 10. Call that one down below. Let's go ahead and click this little pool. You know, you guys want to get a pool for your kids? No, okay, coming home. Let's go into Jetpack Joyride. And you can see, boom, it is the Note 9. Surprising, but not really, because iPhone usually loads heavier games or more graphically intensive games first. You can see a very similar affair when you are playing. You get the notch cutting out on your iPhone 10, whereas you don't really get that on the Note 9 here in gaming. And I've been finding that the Note 9 stays really cool under heavy intensive tasks. Let's go into Dead Trigger 2. And you can see Dead Trigger 2 is first for the iPhone 10. Let's go ahead and play them now. See which one can load them first. I did change the graphics to high settings for the Note 9. And you can see the iPhone comes with that 
right out of the gate and you can see the iphone 10 loads that first once you're actually playing there's not a big difference between them but the iphone 10 definitely loads the game first let's go into pubg mobile now if you're asking why didn't you put fortnite it's because why am i going to test a beta version of fortnite versus an official version of fortnite on ios it's been kind of you know tweaked and updated multiple times so i think it's more fair to test a game that's been around for some time so you can see this is PUBG Mobile, and it looks like the iPhone 10 has the lead over the Note 9 slightly, but maybe the Note 9 could come back, and no, it doesn't. So here we are with the iPhone 10. We're still waiting on the Note 9. Let's hit start. Boom. Now we have to X all this out here for the Note 9. Let's hit start here. So the iPhone 10 loaded that PUBG Mobile a little bit quicker. I think that shows how fast the A11 is optimized the device because this game requires a lot of resources so the iphone 10 scrolling around you can see this is an online game it's not a huge difference when you're actually in the game but when you're loading it the iphone 10 will get you into fortnite first let's go into slither and you can see slither is open first i don't know that one you call that one i was pretty close let's hit play against ai and coming home let's go into geekbench and you can see geekbench about the same coming home let's go into speed test and that was the note 9 it looked like it twitched a second and then boom it opened up let's go into video shop and you can see video shop first on the right so i would say for most the most part the note 9 won the speed test in the single round uh, a lot of the apps seem to have just a slightly faster look when opening but the iphone did win in these two more graphically intensive games let's go ahead and run through them now just to see if we get any reloads video shop none there speed test none there geekbench none there slither that's open eight gigs of ram this thing better not reload pubg mobile you could see about the same dead trigger 2 boom jetpack joyride nothing to speak of there ebay you could see the same let's go into amazon and you could see the same let's go into prime video pretty much the same there youtube and pretty much the same whatsapp nice performance for both wow this is stunning performance twitter instagram calculator phone clock wow calendar great performance on both if you're looking for a samsung phone that has great multitasking finally the note 9 brings basically perfect performance to your smartphone as you just seen right here in both the single and the multi-core speed test now if you've been watching my speed test for a long time you know Almost no Samsung phones really get through the entire multitasking without a little bit of a delay or a little bit of a slowdown. But this one is a champ, at least here on this 8 gig of RAM version. I haven't tested the 6 gig, so I wouldn't be able to speak on that one just yet. Okay, so let's see which one can open the camera first on both these devices. 3, 2, 1, and you can see that looked like the iPhone 10. Let's do that again. Uh, let me go ahead and close out this on the iPhone 10. Let me go ahead and close this out for the Note 9. 3, 2, 1. You can see the iPhone 10 opens the camera first. So you have a faster camera experience for the iPhone 10 when it comes to at least firing open that application. Let's go ahead and open up video shop and we're going to render out this video really quickly here. So let's hit edit here. And on this one, let's hit edit. We're going to hit next and then we're going to hit share high settings. This is a 1080p video one minute on both devices. We're going to hit next here in three, two, one and see which one can load this first so it looks like the iphone 10 is in the lead note 9 going very fast respectively but it looks like the iphone 10 is going to win this test so video rendering is still going to be a little bit faster for the a11 cpu devices here is the note 9 but that's definitely not slow so you're definitely going to be able to render video very quickly for the note 9 as well no problem okay guys so my final geekbench scores are in 42 12 on the single core for the iphone 10 24 46 for the note 9 multi-core 10 to 30 for the iphone 10 83 36 for the note 9 now what does this mean basically you can flex on people that you have a faster geekbench score on the iphone 10 that's about all it means here the uh, Galaxy Note 9 still not winning in that respect. But in the real world, the Galaxy Note 9 is probably the fastest Android phone I've ever felt so far. Now, you can say that's the OnePlus 6, which is a rocket fast performance, but I don't find the animations to be quite as smooth and the transitions as smooth as the Note 9. So the Note 9 might be the beastliest, most powerful phone I've ever seen on an Android device. And you've seen in this video for the first time, it's like 
the one of the first Samsungs, maybe the S9 Plus, but this is one of the first Samsungs that easily was like on par, exactly perfect with the iPhone, the best iPhone of the time. It used to not be like this. So really you gotta decide between, are you gonna be choosing iOS or are you choosing a phone that can basically replace a tablet, maybe even a laptop. If you wanna do everything on a phone, the Note 9 can definitely suffice. So that's it. I think that the Note 9 stood toe to toe with the iPhone 10. I'm calling it pretty much a draw in the speed test here. Basically equal performance. There's other factors that are going to help you decide which to buy. I will be doing a full comparison on these two. So you might want to be subscribed for that. OnePlus 6 versus Galaxy Note 9 dropping this weekend. So stay tuned for that. If you found this video helpful, enjoyable, entertaining, informing, do me a favor, click that like button for me. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Thank you very much for watching and peace.